Hi guys, this is Melissa. Let me tell you a story about my family. Some things we've been keeping out. So we were a big gaming family since the past. I, uh, I have a brother, uh, he's about a year and a half older than me. And I used to remember go visiting him because my mom and his mom are different. I, it's my half brother, it's just from my dad. And we used to go visit him at his house and I used to play video games with him and his friends and I played video games alone. My first system, if I could remember, was the Atari. Me and my sister had an Atari and we used to play pinball. Um, I don't know if you remember. And I, I, I believe actually the pinball, I, I may be wrong on this, but I it's like I remember having the pinball on a, a ColecoVision. Because the ColecoVision, I think, was the one with the knobs. And um, I think that's what the knobs was to bring the the paddle so the ball could hit we didn't really have much but i remember having that and i was really excited about it you know that's where everything began i stood there for hours playing trying to beat her um we did have an atari but i can't remember the games we had back then i do remember some of my favorite games playing throughout my life but um at that time period i can't remember I had a lot of games from the Atari, I believe it was the Pitfall, which was fun, you know, it, it, it's addicting. You kind of reverse the, the process over and over, going over holes or sand pits or um, what it was, alligators, but I remember that being an addicting game as well. They also had Centipede, which if you watch the movies now with Adam Sandler, that, you know, where they play centipede in real life, which that's pretty fun and scary. But yeah, I remember playing and a centipede and my favorite that we had got, that, that I remember playing was E.T. Of course, he didn't look like E.T. He terrified some people with the game. Uh, they still talk about it as far as like the gameplay and the graphics and the way E.T. looks. But I remember when I was growing up that E.T. used to be really, really fun. I, I just, you know, I didn't get the concept of the game, but I just remember having fun playing it. And um, the whole music, when it comes down, he comes from uh, the space and, you know, and then you got to run him around and try to catch pieces and all that. Like, it, it's at that time period, like now kids nowadays get those games and they're like, what is this? But back then, that was like how they say what the bees knees <laughs> we also had um pac-man uh frogger cubert which was also fun and addicting i think cubert also was on game boy i could be wrong on that as well but I, I believe that a lot of the games were crossover so i think they had them on game boy and we had popeye my brother actually gave me his game boy because i never had one myself and he gave me his and then i ended up inheriting his games and stuff like that and i remember being really addicted and thinking oh my god i could take a game system everywhere with me like that was that was the best thing in my life um but my mother i'm not sure if it was when it came out um when the nintendo first came out it, it was really exciting but i remember my mom getting it for me I, I believe that, uh, to be honest with you, I believe it was like years later or months later, like when the prices and everything calmed down, she finally got me one. But I remember, I remember the first Mario and being so hooked on it and being so ecstatic and just spending hours in front of the TV, just trying to beat the levels, finishing the whole game. I was always about finishing it. And I would make sure that I start and finish all the games that I played. Um, I played the first Mario, I played the second, the third. I played so many games on there. Paperboy used to be a really, really fun game. We actually still have the system. Not the same exact system, but I got a system over the years and we still have one. We do play it still. My kids love it. So I still make sure that that is a part of our history and a part of our present because it was something that 
changed my way of thinking with things you know like I know electronics now everything's about mobiles playing online playing on the go but it just I don't know to me the simple games and something fun and you just you get from point A to point B and you're done with it it's like it's it's you know it's cool I don't know like you know I of course zombie games I do love zombie games I love shooting games I love all types of games but I still love going back to the time where it started for for me at least where it started and um i remember also playing the dr mario the game and the song was addicting and we played donkey kong which we still have on our system and eventually i'll show you guys that when we're playing all the classics and all the new games i remember for sega i did have a couple of games and i might be wrong don't hate me for this metroid was it on sega or was it on yeah i think it was i think metroid was a sega thing but i could be wrong i know i'm probably wrong because i know i had metroid i just don't remember what system because i ended up at one point having a lot of systems um when playstation one came out or the or i think it was when playstation came out anyways when they started coming out with the final fantasies that was another game for some reason oddly that i was interested in and um i i guess to me to describe it not even close but to describe a type of gameplay like that will be for me um jensen impact which i'm kind of addicted to now but back then um final fantasy i played it i think all the way to like number seven and then i ended up dying down from it things were happening in my life other things that were like more interesting to me than gameplay which was a miracle because that was my whole life at that point so it was really really nice to see that <laughs> i had something interested i was interested in more than games i think it was boys at that time and i don't know but um another thing i got addicted to was resident evil which I played all the way up to the last one and I was really excited, happy. I bought the game and I started it. It took me maybe two days, three days. I didn't even think that long. <laughs> and I, you know, I do have a life. I work from home. I uh, teach my kids like homeschool. I'm, you know, full-time caretaker in my home. I take care of everything in the house. I run all the errands and everything. My husband has an outside job, so he's working all day. So I'm doing every single other thing, you know, in the house that I can take care of, plus my kids, plus working. And I still had time to play this game. <laughs> so I've been working to not like I, on and off. It goes on my schedule. Sometimes I can be consistent with it. But on and off, I try to work through the week, like crank all the work anything i have to do any of my pieces i have to make to send out if i have stuff to do in the kitchen i like friday is like my huge cleaning day i'll clean everything down and then i'll get ready for the weekend because the weekend i'll make or have prep meals ready to go or make easy meals and then the weekend is my time it's my time to relax play my game play mobile games play online games play whatever i do sometimes play with my kids roblox which, you know, it's fun just to play with them. I like to be a part of their world as much as mine. So I, I play that. Sometimes I play with my daughter on her Xbox. She downloaded, I think it was Ninja Turtles, which that was fun for me. We were playing and fighting each other and beating stuff up and blowing stuff up, but it was really, really cool. They do like a lot of the old fashioned games. It's a little more calmer, but they also love all the new games. Okay, long story short, you know what I mean? Like, I've had a history of gameplay. Computer games also, Sims. I play like so many different Sims that got addicting for a while. And then there was this creepy game, I think it was called uh, Black Blackstone Chronicles. And if you have never heard about that game or never checked it out, you need to look it up. I think even for today, that game is pretty like intense. I remember being younger and like freaked out because I thought that um, the guy was like gonna become real or something and he could read my thoughts at that time. Of course now, you know, you, you wake up from reality. But at that time it seemed pretty intense to me. And then you go into this like a sale asylum and there's a lot of um, patients there who died and passed away or whatever, but their spirits are talking to you to find clues to help you find your son or something like that, I think, or your grandson, or I think it's your son. I think you're the father or something and you go into this house so you know he's is a big manor and the manor was asylum or whatever but 
the, the guy speaking on the background was like so freaky and scary me and then the ghost just popping out and talking to me i was like oh my god anyways you gotta check it out <laughs> I'm rambling but yeah his history is probably much different than mine he played a lot of sports but he also he was a farmer <laughs> he grew up on a farm and I think he spent more time with the animals than he had a chance to play games but when he got older that was like his life he got into the games much later but now it's like he's into the games when he takes his time off and he plays his games it's just that's it his citizens game and I'm doing my game and the girls are playing their games Anyways, it's not something that I share all the time. I do share stuff like our homeschooling sometimes. Sometimes I share things that we make um, personal, like um, like homemade or handmade or whatever. And the kids, they love painting. They love making sculptures. We do it for ourselves, for family members, for occasions. I will continue sharing that. I, I plan on doing that because that's something that I've actually always done my whole life and i'm excited about so i'm not only just a gamer i uh have like a million things i'm doing all the time so yeah i i just i thought about it i'm like you know why am i keeping this away because it's a it, it is a big part of our life as well because we're into electronics we're in the year and life of electronics and technology and it's it's just the evolution of technology is getting bigger and we need to I guess you know share a little bit of that because of course it's going to change and it's nice just to see where we came from to where we're going my kids i think like the first things they had was like leapfrog stuff you know learn then it started becoming like learning um games so games weren't just fun they started like teaching you something and my my girls got pretty good with those things um they play a lot of puzzle games but they also like a lot of just fun games just for the heck of it What's the new one they're playing? Okay, I'll have to ask them. They'll probably tell you. But I'll have them share with you their game love <laughs> and what they're into now. But yeah, this is this this is it. this is it. This is what we're gonna be adding. This is the change that we're doing to our uh programming here. Um, my husband, myself, my kids, if we have some gaming we want to share with you, a new game we're playing, because there are a couple that we added to so my husband's Xbox that we played that is really, really cool. And um, it's one of those that I don't think gives enough attention online, or maybe I just don't know, because um, I'm not on all the, you know, streaming stuff and all the online um, stuff with game forums and everything, but... These are the type of games that we're interested in and we found. And yeah, we'll share them with you along the way with everything else. Today, we are using science to pervert the mysteries of life and reanimate the inanimate. To begin, it's customary for the creator to give a melodramatic speech. Go on, I'll Welcome back to the research and development. Today, we are using science to pervert the mysteries of life and reanimate the inanimate. I don't plan on doing a lot of cleaning videos, uh, mostly because I don't like cleaning and it takes me a long time to actually get into a cleaning video, yet, yet alone want to like tape it. Um, unless it's something that you get excited about and you want to see, then you will have to tell me. Otherwise, if I don't hear from you, I am going to post. <laughs> I'm gonna post things that I have fun posting, that I enjoy doing, and you know, I talk to my family about it, and you know, we do have a life, a full life, besides YouTube. We have a full life of things that happen around us. We have a small time and a small window to add this into our lives, and we, we enjoy it because, of course, it's something to look back on in the future, and like, oh, look, we, you know, we did this, and look what we did at that time, or whatever, but at the same time, at the same time, this is just second. Second in our lives. This is not first. Um, I don't know what the future holds for us, really. But we decided as a family, because I, I do everything with my family. I'm not just me, or just my husband, or just the kids. It, we do everything together most of the time. And, you know, a lot of times I'm doing stuff for myself and working around by myself. And it's putting me away from my family. And I don't like that. I like to do things with my family. So since that's what we do, I figured we're gonna include that as well. Also, if you wanna continue following us, this is what is coming ahead. 
we are planning to do videos and post them as we get them. I will promise this. Every week we will post a video. Every week you will get a video. Whether you get two videos or three videos or four videos is depending on our life and our schedules. But every week you will get a video from us, whether it's us sharing something we made, something made, even just desserts, because we love making desserts and treats. Either a dessert, a treat, something easy, hopefully healthy, fun, um, healthy, healthy, <laughs> hopefully fun, hopefully we, uh, you know, entertain you with all that, but yeah, showing you our gameplay, showing you what we're playing, showing you the things we're doing, showing you new stuff in school if it comes up and is interesting to us, showing you uh, different things that we're doing new if we're making stuff, which I do have a video coming up, I want to show you some hats I made which are fun because I made a couple of them at my shop and you could purchase them in my shop. So stay tuned for that. But also stay tuned for all the fun new things that's coming for me and my family. So I'm Melissa and I have Valerie, Lillian and Jeremy and we'll probably be back with some more. And if you want to continue with us and hang out along, go ahead. This is what it is. This is real life. Um, I'm not trying to add or take away from anything we do differently so you know if you want to enjoy the adventure with us you know come along <laughs> come see our crazy family continue with us and and it's up to you and if there's something you feel that as far as gaming also if there's something that you want us to try that we haven't tried let us know we have xbox we have playstation we have Nintendo Switch, we have a regular Nintendo, we have, uh, actually we have an older Xbox and a new Xbox, we have PlayStation, what else we have? We have mobile games, we have computer games, um, so I think we have pretty much ever. <laughs> no, we don't have everything. Um, next thing we want to get is Oculus, we hold, we held on on that because man, the prices, like we all wanted one and it was like, okay, we'll have to share it and it's, it's been a while, but that might be coming up soon too. But yeah, if you're intrigued by my information today and you want to see some more, then follow us and I'm going to get back to the regular programming. So let's go. Hi, um, I am making some cookies today. I want to make some delicious cookies, but not so like um, unhealthy for you. And I try to keep it as healthy as possible. I do have a recipe I really, really want to make for myself because um, I love oatmeal raisin and there are no sugar added to this oatmeal raisin cookies, but I have to go pick up raisins and that's not happening today. Didn't tell you. <laughs> so we're driving our car. Well, we were tr attempting to drive it. It was so cold. I'm not even going to tell you what the temperature is right this second. I'm going to tell you, but it was really cold. And then we tried putting the car on and it started making this weird noise. And my husband fixes cars and we never had a problem with car. He was always able to like just solve the problem like in two seconds. And um, so we fixed the car and we got it on the road. And then it started acting really funny. Long story short. The battery's been having issues since we picked up the car because um, we don't get new cars most of the time. I think we've gotten like two new cars our whole lives. Um, and then just the payments on it and everything, we just, it's like, it makes no sense for us. So we ended up just getting a used car. So yeah, I know there's complications, but my husband went to school for, for cars and mechanics work. So he was like, okay, not a big deal anyway, so we just fix it. So we never, needless to say, we never had an issue with cars. Right now, <laughs> you know, we moved to North Dakota and then it's like, it, the temperature, okay, the temperature is like negative 26. Um, so negative 26 and then it says it feels like negative 40 something. So then the car stopped out and um, it almost died. And long story short, we think it's the battery because everything started going haywire and he, he did all his regular things he does and nothing was working. So he thinks it's the battery. So we're gonna replace the battery. So we have no car right now. So we're gonna be staying home for a little bit. North Dakota, <laughs> welcome. So anyways, 
it, I'm not gonna go get raisins and I'm not gonna order raisins right now because it's not that serious. But I do have some recipes. Right now, that's why I have like layers on. What do you say, the snow pants on? With my coat, with my like negative temperature gloves and my hat and I'm fine outside. I walked the dog, I put his coat on and he was looking at me like, no. Let's go back inside. And I was saying, yes, let's go back inside because it's pretty cold. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll be without a car for a little bit. And this is, a, this is the first time in a long time we've had an issue like this with a car. And our car has been really good. Like our, our car has been great. It has had no issues. We go get it checked up all the time, even though, you know, like my husband just does the regular work on it. And then it just never had one issue. And then it decides to wake up and say, okay, I'm done today. I'm done. Okay. So, I want to make the banana oat breakfast cookies. Banana oat breakfast cookies. It says it takes 15 minutes cook time, prep time 5 minutes. I thought it's a win for me. So, I'm going to make that plus some. Um, I would like my kids to be eating more healthy stuff when we have some frozen bananas. So, I thought, why not? I have the stuff already. Um, I also want to make lemon cookies, the lemon sugar cookies. Because... Both my husband and my daughter love lemon anything, and we do love sugar cookies. So I was like, mm, a little twist, lemon cookies. So I'm going to make those two so we have snacks ahead because we always like to just sometimes on the weekend, especially munch on a little cookie or um, the girls take it for lunchtime um, when they have lunch between school. So this freaking bug from somewhere the, keeps flying around my face. Anyways. So I am going to clean up real quick. Um, it's not much, just a couple of dishes. I gotta take the, the the clean dishes out, put the dirty dishes in. I'm gonna do these things because those are quick. Get those out of the way, and then I'm doing a crock pot meal. It's one I made before. It's with uh, what is it, coco minos that I use or oh, coconut minos, something like that. Anyways, it replaces soy sauce. I I know you know what I'm talking about, but my brain is not functioning today. I'm lack of sleep, but yeah um i'm going to do that and then i'm going to throw that crock pot recipe together with just chicken mm -hmm. shred the chicken probably going to make a salad on the side we've been trying to eat like a little lighter i don't know like we're not even we get full so fast so i don't make too much rice and potatoes especially since i've just bought everything back we were like <sighs> vegetables <laughs> salad yay because we don't like all the rice and the potatoes all the time so mm -hmm. i'm going to make that today and i'm gonna share that with you and like I said, back to regular programming. Let's go. I started out on that oatmeal, what is it? Oatmeal banana breakfast cookies. And yeah, they weren't that bad. It was pretty fast and easy to make, to be honest with you. And I believe that it's kind of like um, granola bars. So I think that I wouldn't mind making this as granola bars anyways. I, I would look to see as far as storing it, but yeah, it wasn't horrible. Uh, the little one loved it more than the older one and my husband was questioning it because he's not a granola fan as well but all in all I think it was not that bad it came so out. So this is how they came out. I did two trays. I have a little bit left in there and I wasn't even gonna waste my time. It's barely enough for like one or two um, but yeah, I bit two trays and then it tells you just to I scoop them with the um, cookie scooper the small one and then I just mushed them down because they said to form them. And I think, you know, they look pretty formed, pretty decent. I'm going to stick them in, cook them, and see how that turns out. And then as this is cooking, I think I'm going to do the crock pot quick. The recipe for the crock pot that I want to do tonight. And then after I do the recipe for the crock pot, um, I ended up putting it back there on the freezer to make it easier out of the way. So that I can have the counter space. So as that's cooking, because I want it to cook like slow um because then it comes out really juicy for tonight um i'm probably gonna make that with a salad like i said something light these cookies the girls will try out after they get done and um we'll show you that because i want to see if they actually came out good because it's healthier for them it's good for them they can have these in the morning if they want a little cookie or for lunchtime. i'll put those inside of a separate bag in the refrigerator for them but then i'm also going to make the lemon sugar cookies for the the whole family to snack on and that i'll put in the cookie jar once that's cooked but i'll do that after the crock pot and i'll show you all of that don't mind this my husband made italian bread 
We made two loaves and um, we kind of dogged them. <laughs> we ate all of it. This is what's left of it. And I forgot to show that. He also kind of ruined my pants. Um, he forgot to put stuff on the bottom of it. So um, the pants had issues. All right, if I can get this out of here. There we go. So I'm just going to stick these in the frozen. I think last time when I did them, I did so much extra meat. Um, I don't like to do too much extra meat at all because we eat leftovers, but we don't need to have that much because I'm always cooking. So it makes no sense for me to put that much in there. So I just put two, I think two breast, chicken breast, honey, coconut aminos, garlic powder, parsley, and oregano. I don't uh, measure. I just put what I think. So that's what I'm going to do. I know it looks sad, but trust me, it's going to come out good. And I usually sometimes still, um, depending um, when it's cooking, I just add a couple extra of the ingredients depending how it smells or after it gets closer, I taste it and then I leave it for a little while and I add some more ingredients. But I'm just going to cover this, put this on and start the next cookies and we'll see what that looks like afterwards. So I finished the cookies. I let them get brown on the edges before I took them out. They look good. Um, I'm gonna let them cool off and then once they cool off, I'm going to plate them and then I'll let the girls try it out and I'll show you what they thought about it. I'm pretty, more, I'm pretty much sure that you're gonna see if they like it or not by their expression. But remember, it's healthy, so don't, uh, don't hold your breath. <laughs> We're hoping. Oh well. Oh, the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Tastes yummy? <laughs> what do you think? Mm. This is kind of like bananas. Yeah, they're banana oatmeal and chocolate chip. Yeah. They're healthier for you. They're called breakfast cookies. Not a fan. They liked it. Yeah. All right. Apparently, I have never made lemon cookies. <laughs> I need lemon sauce. So for to have lemon sauce, I need lemons. I don't have lemons. I need lots of extra sugar, which makes me think they're not as good as I wanted them to be. And I don't have extra sugar because when I went and did the big shopping I had grabbed a bunch of flour and a bunch of baking meats and like my mind said sugar but I guess my hands just missed it and I didn't get the sugar so needless to say I gotta go back out and grab a sugar because we bake more than anything but that's besides the point I have enough sugar for what I need so I am changing tactics I found a recipe it says the best ever chewy brownies that they taste like the real good ones in the store I, i'll be the judge of that so we'll see how that tastes but the girls got really excited because they wanted me to make my regular um chocolate chip cookies that i make from scratch because you know chocolate chip cookies are always awesome and they love all the stuff that's not good for them so i figured okay i'm gonna make some brownies i haven't made that in a while we haven't had brownies in a while so i'm going to make brownies today and let them enjoy and get all that out of their system and i told them if anything i'll make either brownies or cookies or some type of um, non-healthy meal or snack maybe every two weeks so that we could get it out of our system but we're not having it all the time so today's gonna be best 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 ever chewy brownies i'm gonna try them and i'll let you know what that tastes like but you saw the granolas one wasn't amused the other one liked it and then my husband said they were good um also not his favorite because he's not a granola bar fan or whatever and it's like kind of like granola bar taste um but listen they got they got to change you know you have to come with times you got to be healthy you got to take care of yourself and you know you can't eat junk all the time it doesn't make you feel good like i said and then i'm making chocolate you know chewy brownies 
but like i said i'm gonna have it only once every two weeks or so depending maybe less uh, of course we don't count occasions like valentine's candy and uh what's after that march i have my anniversary but there's no candy involved really because i don't get candy I'm, I don't, I'm not too much a big candy fan so then we have april which is my husband's birthday so that is probably gonna be candy because he likes candy and snacks then we have uh where are we my birthday and mother's day probably some candy but not really much and then the kids birthdays which they love candy so we're probably gonna have a lot of candy for the july and then so on and so forth so i'm gonna make these best brownies i'll tell you what's in them put them together i'm gonna put them in the oven and then that's pretty much it today i'm just gonna show you um how the crock pot recipe came out so we can have that for dinner with some salad and i'm gonna get to work so that i can finish work these kids and my husband's a tough crowd <laughs> i i try so many times to make different recipes um i take the same recipes we would eat and I try to find healthier versions of them. I've tried different ones, ones without sugar, ones without, you know, uh, flour and all the extras, the no bakes, the bakes with a couple ingredients. And it's like, some of them I can get away with. Some of them they're like, okay, we can have this, but yeah, it's just, I guess the sweet tooth. So that's why I try not to have it as much we go sometimes in stints where we, you know, like we'll have a lot of goodies and then we go sometimes where we won't have any. So I, I try to keep it, you know, where we're eating more healthier things and try to balance it. <laughs> I, I try to balance it. We don't eat a lot of crap for dinners and stuff like that. So if we're going to have some goodies, we're going to enjoy some goodies. We're not going to go crazy and have stuff that we really don't enjoy. So... You know it is what it is i have to say though that this brownie did come out much better than our old brownie recipe so i'm pretty happy with that and if you see this this is the i just was taking apart the meat so all the juices can really soak in there but it was so soft it was so easy to break up so it makes me really happy and i just like i said i was gonna pair it with some lettuce tomatoes i throw some celery cut up some peppers and we love a good healthy um salad so i decided to put that together the girls ate earlier and then i'm planning to eat when my husband gets home but yeah this is pretty much it and i hope that you enjoyed this and i hope that you love what i made and you have fun with me today and if you like subscribe and follow us for more and we'll be back soon Thank you guys. Bye.